Hi, welcome to Shogani Toys. Today let's build the unbiased digital dice and coin toss. The kit comes with the battery holder, a slide switch. There are some components mounted on the breadboard. This is the breadboard. And here we have the pre-programmed CPU chip and we have the seven segment LED display. We have a push switch and a microphone. We also have a 100 ohms resistor marked by brown, black and brown rings. This breadboard is pre-wired to the battery holder through the slide switch. So first what we need to do is we need to take three AA battery and place them. This is the negative side of the battery. It should be pushed again the spring to place it. The second battery and the third battery. So batteries direction remember they alternate and after that you can just turn it to ensure that they are seated properly. Now what we will do is we will follow a easy step so that we are ensuring proper connection at every stage. First what we are going to do is we are going to take the black wire that comes with the kit and connect it on the hole A25. This is A, A25. I'm inserting this into the hole A25. One side of the black wire and other side of the black wire I'm connecting it to other side of the black wire I'm connecting it to the negative rail. So the top rail blue that you see a blue line on the top all the holes next to the blue line gets the negative voltage from the battery so i'm just inserting it in there negative rail and just i am just positioning the wire properly so that it is neat okay so i have connected the negative rail to the negative of the battery. I have connected the negative rail to the pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the CPU chip or uh, hole A25. Now what I am going to do is I am going to connect the positive rail to J25. This is J, J25 to the positive. Okay, so now what happened is we have connected power to the CPU. So if when we switch this on, CPU gets powered if the battery is properly placed. How do we know that? We will connect some wires to the CPU and then switch it on again. Let's connect the green wire from J14 to I21. I'm taking a green wire and connect, connecting it to J14 to I21. Okay, let me press it so that it stays flat. Now I will switch it on. You will notice that the top segment of the seven segment LED is blinking, which means a battery is placed correctly. This black wire and red wire are connected correctly so that the CPU is powered and we are powering one segment of the seven second LED. We can switch it off and proceed with the subsequent connection. I'm going to connect this yellow wire. These colors are not important. You can choose any color wire depending on what is available in the kit. The yellow wire is connected to I-15. 
one side and the other side H22 H22 okay again keep it flat as much as possible and again switch it on you will notice that two segments are blinking okay let's switch it off again connect the next wire which is a blue wire in the diagram that is from C14 to H23 C14 to H23 Okay, let's make it neat. Okay, now let's switch it on. Okay, so you will notice that three segments are now coming on and off, which means the third wire, the blue wire that we have connected also is correct. Let's switch it off again. Now let's connect the next wire, which is green from C12, C12 to H24, C12 to H24, okay. and switch it on again okay so you will notice that now one two three four segments are coming on and off okay so that's also correct next is the yellow wire from b11 to j26 b11 to j26 B11 to J26. Okay, so that is connected. Okay, so next segment is also coming on and off. Perfect. Let's proceed. Next, next is this green wire from I11 to A27. I11 to A27. I'm turning, taking it through this side of the seven segment display. Okay. Okay, so one more segment is coming on. Now this green wire will not, uh, this green wire segment is the middle segment, which will not blink at this stage. Only when you connect the microphone and push switch, this will blink. So let's wait. Next is the red wire from J12 to D22. So the red wire from J12 to D22. Again, through this right side of the seven segment LED. Turn it on. So you will notice that all the outer segments are now coming on and off. So seven segment LED connections are done. 
Now what we need to do is we need to connect the push switch and the microphone. So let's first connect the push switch. Blue wire from D7, D7 to A26. Okay, so that is done. And this black wire from E5 to the negative. E5 to the negative. Okay, E5 to the negative. Okay, push switch is connected. Let's switch it on. This is the initial pattern that comes. Let's push the switch. Okay. The digital dice is working with the push switch. Perfect. Okay, so now let's connect the uh, the wire needed to choose the coin toss. So we'll need to connect the green uh, wire. From the negative, one side to the negative and other side to C29. C29. So whenever this wire, green wire is present, the dice will change to coin toss. So let's see. Let's push the switch. Okay. Tails. Tails again. Okay. Heads. Okay, so perfect. Uh, we have completed the digital dice and coin toss with the push switch. Now we, let's make the microphone work. For that, what we need to do is we need to connect a red wire Okay, so the red, let's switch it off. Red wire from the microphone's positive side, which is D2, D2, D2 to E7, D2 to E7, a wire is connected. Okay, D2 to E7, a wire is connected and then we need to connect a black wire from E1 to the negative. E1 to the negative. Okay. So once we connect the microphone, the push switch will not work. For the push switch to work, we will need to remove this black wire. Let's now test the microphone. We are in the coin toss mode because the green wire is present. Perfect. Microphone is sensing the clap. You can clap. You can also tap the microphone. Okay. Perfect. Now what we need to do is switch it off. Remove the green wire and test the microphone in the dice mode. Okay. Excellent. Please feel free to take picture of your project and share it in our Instagram account, Shogni Toys. All the best. Congrats. Keep building projects.